<clears throat> Hello everybody, it is me, Explosive Ramen, and welcome back to Danganronpa 2. So in the last video, we, <laughs> funnily enough, uh, we started as, we, well we played as Nagito for a bit, but uh, yeah, we conducted a little investigation into Nekomaru's murder, and uh, I guess this investigation is going to come to a close soon, so let's... Just get on with it, shall we? <laughs> I have returned from the depths of hell. Ew. Sorry we're late. <laughs> just so you all know, it's all thanks to me. I'm the one who fixed the elevator. <laughs> See, it's just as I said, right? Oy, oy. Hey, are you even listening to me? I'm trying to stand out here. <laughs> More importantly, Kazuichi, did you not look into that... Did you look into that matter I asked you about? Uh huh? Huh, oh, the thing about the compass? I looked into it while I was coming here, but I think this compass might be broken. I didn't ask for your opinion, some of the results. Well, the compass needle rotated 180 degrees while we were riding the elevator. The needle rotated 180 degrees. So it spins around, basically. <laughs> it's just as I thought. Huh? Hey, what do you mean by that? Well, obviously the elevator most likely rotated 180 degrees. Oh, just oh, it just rotated. It didn't revolve. <laughs> now then, I should go investigate Nekomaru's body. As if he were thumbing his nose at us. Arama. Jesus. What the hell's wrong with him? Doesn't he seem pissed off or something? <laughs> what do you know? How much do you know? Uh, oh, hello. <laughs> I've made you wait. Okay. No, no. Naito is likely a tardy detective. <laughs> what are you talking what? about? It's a trope in Mr. Games. They always come to the crime scene late just to make an important discovery. But they never reach the truth of the case. They just end up feeding the main character's assumptions. Hmm. Well, in Naito's case, he's not the type to feed anyone. He'll just make things even more complicated. That's true. He's such, a, he's such a troublesome person. He really is. He really is. But lately, I feel like he's been acting weirder than usual. I don't think a new discovery is bad, though. He might be able to find something he completely overlooked. <sighs> Alright. As soon as I came over here, I checked this first, but it looks like the panel was definitely forced open. The elevator panel? It might be better if I explain how the elevator was broken, huh? I heard the gist of it from Nagito. They broke the elevator by tampering with the safety device, right? Oh, looks like word travels fast. Check out that panel over there. It's just as I thought. Looks like they forced open the panel and changed the settings by tampering with the safety device. It definitely looks like the panel was forced open, which means the elevator was broken at Grape House. Can I not look at it? I guess not. Uh, you, what do you have to say? Uh. You should be inside. Okay, I guess everyone wants me to go to Grape Tower. I'll go on ahead. We were a little late. Honestly, I'm gonna say this right now. For you, Hiko, instantly shot up to be one of my instantly shot up to be one of my favorite characters in this game. I'm gonna say that right now. Nekomaru, are you serious? Damn it. I don't know who did this, but this is pretty fucked up. Mm. Now's the time to get sentimental. Come on, we need to hurry up and investigate. We've already investigated everything we can here. <laughs> no, you haven't. There's still something you should be able to investigate more thoroughly. <clears throat> now that Mikan is no longer with us, we can't perform an autopsy. Mm. But Kazuichi should be able to disassemble the body, right? Masaka. Is that true? Are you going to disassemble Nekomaru's body? Don't fuck with me. Hasn't Coach Nekomaru been through enough already? Been through enough? We need to perform this investigation so we can find out who the killer is. Or perhaps you don't want to know, Akane. Maybe you don't care about what happened. What a dickhead. If you suck at using your brain and you really want to know who the killer is, trying to interfere so much. 
I know I said I wanted to see the insides, but not like this. This is just too much. Are you guys feeling okay too? Now sometimes you're staring at his face. What is wrong with you? <laughs> it's exactly. I didn't even. I didn't even know that was gonna be the next line. <laughs> I thought he was just treating me differently ever since he found out I have no talent. But it seems like that's not entirely the case. God, he does one useful thing and he acts like this. His attitude towards everyone else is strange now, too, but why? Now's not the time to look away. I need Kazuichi to disassemble. Oh, I need to talk to him. We come so far. There's no way I can get sentimental with him like this. I feel awful for him, but this is necessary if we're going to find out the truth behind this case. As he forced out his voice through. I see forced out his voice through clenched shark teeth. Begins stabbing his tool knife. Where'd you get that tool knife? Huh? Nagato gave it to me. Of course. He said he had it before we even went to the amusement park. So Nagato did that too. It's like Nagato has had full control of the situation. It looks like the damage to his head is the reason. The reason that come out of that, I mean, stop functioning. His torso is covered in huge dents, and his parts are dislocated. Maybe a gear shaft broke too? Well, for now I tried disassembling Nekomoto's chest. That should help us learn something, right? Oh, we can look at the time of death! <laughs> it's it's 5.30, isn't it? Chest panels open, the clock is actually exposed. What? Seven th What? Clock broke the moment the alarm started ringing at 7.30 a.m. We should have arrived at Grave Tower just before 7 a.m. from Monokuma Tai Chi. Is this clock not functioning? No, wait. Highly efficient radio clock. Type of clock that receives radio signals so it can automatically update the time at fixed intervals. It's an extremely accurate clock. That's right, it's a clock that will never slow down. It's even designed so that it cannot be adjusted. <laughs> There's those tiny details again! That are coming into big play here. Coming into play big time. Case. Why does this broken clock say 7.30 a.m.? What the hell? Sleep protruding. Oh no, we, well, we saw that. What else? Oh. Oh, god damn it. What? What's wrong with him? He's crouching over Necromata's body, and it almost seems like he's glaring at him. Hey, what is your problem, mate? This is the worst. Huh? You guys overlooked an important clue, I swear you're just the worst. God. I still thought there's no way I can leave this to you guys. What are you talking about? I found this under a fragment of the pillow that I tipped over. Is this a doorknob? Looks like the screws came out with it. That wouldn't happen unless you applied a ton of force to it. Plus it looks like they're scratching the base of the doorknob. Don't you think it's strange? 
If we're still intact, yeah. That's the case, where did this doorknob come from? Are you kidding me? Makes sense to think about it like that. You should try it out. Yeah. The button to open the door in Strawberry Hall is broken, right? Yeah, but then there's chains. Yeah. I need parts to repair. I can repair it if it's broken, but if I don't have enough parts, there's not much I can do about it. But you have plenty of parts right here. I said we should use parts from our dead friend. <laughs> it's called recycling. And it's a much better alternative than disposing with the rest of the junk, right? Mm. Like you said, I could probably use these parts to repair that button, but... Even if you do repair the button, what's going to happen to the chain on the other side of the door? Yeah, dumbass! I don't need to worry about that at all. I don't need to worry, what does that mean? Hey, I'm not finished. You're going to come later too, right? It'd really bother me if you didn't. What the hell happened to him? He seems on edge about something. Who knows? That reminds me, Nagato asked Kazuchi to do something weird for him, right? It has, something, it has something to do with how the elevator spins 180 degrees. I wonder what it can mean. I don't know. To tell you the truth, Nagato asked me to do something weird too. He told me to investigate all the clocks inside both buildings. The clocks? So I did what he said and checked them all, but none of the clocks had their times messed up. Why did he ask me to do that in the first place? I don't get that bastard at all. For now, why don't we head over to Strawberry Tower 2, along with the doorknob matter, there are still many s mysteries surrounding this that we don't understand. If we go to Strawberry Tower, we may be able to solve some of those mysteries, maybe. <clears throat> what Nagato said about the door opening, what is he planning to do about the chain? It'll see it won't come off easily, so there's not gonna have a plan or something. I I'll might as well talk. Looks like everyone left. There's still a chain, you know. That's right. My god. Would not, yeah. Damn it, I can't do anything. I never paid him back. I can't even stop Nakamura from being used as evidence. Yeah. To the land of the dead? The hell? As long as the door not matter, there are still. Yeah. Let's go. It's been a while since I've come to Strawberry House. Hey, you're here. How'd the repairs go? Yeah, well, the damage wasn't too bad once I got the part, so I was able to fix it right away. You got a lot of nerve saying that when you use Nekomoto's parts without my permission. Well, I mean, even so. Now that we're here, what will happen if you press the button to Strawberry Hall's door? <clears throat> yeah. <laughs> Well, we won't. Well, no. It's not even worth trying it out. Now we've all come this far. If you're saying we should try it out, then we should give it a shot. 
Yeah, that'd be great. I do not quite understand, but if it will satisfy... Yeah. The door won't open as long as that chain is on the other side. <clears throat> Seems really confident about it. <coughs> I'm okay. I'm not even in the mood to read that. <laughs> Just so you all know, my repairs are perfect. If the door doesn't open, it's because of that chain, you know. Now then, can you hurry up and press the button already? Yeah, I'll press the fucking button for you, jackass. What the fuck? Wait. This definitely looks weird. This is the same angle! No, no. What the fuck?! <laughs> Which means this body should still be in the front of the door to Strawberry Hall. <laughs> Parts that I carefully arranged when I disassembled the body all moved too. Oh. The body isn't the only thing that moved, even the tipped over pillar and the spilled oil. They've all moved the exact same way. <clears throat> so Grape Tower rotated 180 degrees. So the scrape tower it's rotating? This is so great it could drastically affect the outcome of this case. We might have to rethink this. We might need to fundamentally rethink how we've been approaching the case. Uh oh. Music stopped, so that means. Jane disappeared. The strange feeling I felt when I went back and forth between the two towers. <laughs> just as I thought, it was definitely the right choice to confirm this. Just as you thought, then you already knew about this mystery. <sighs> you have a bad habit of relying on others who you don't understand. Why don't you try investigating first? <laughs> that door at the far back with the picture of a grape on it. There's a clue on that door? The doorknob's gone. I think a screws came out with it. It's the same as that doorknob that was on the floor. See, the screws came out with it, right? When the doorknob next to Nekomoto's body came off the door to Grape Hall. That's what it looks like. When you said clue, were you talking about this? But what is it a clue to? Did you get even more confused? <laughs> no need to worry, just one clue will change everything. Huh? All the mysteries will be solved, as if everything were linked together if you can reach it, just like I did. What does that mean? Even if I ask him that, he won't give me an answer. So it'd just be a waste of time to ask. Here's the trial. It appears that it's time for the class trial. To the truth, I'm tired, extremely tired. I feel like spending the rest of my life hibernating already. <sighs> Sabori 
I know it's bad, but I'm so sleepy. I just want to ditch. Maybe that's impossible since it's so annoying. Yeah, whatever. Looks like it's gonna start. Another class trial. How are we supposed to get to the trial ground? Yeah. Did something happen? Did you guys, did you guys hear something? Hear something? What do you hear this time? Oh, never mind. Excuse me? Is he telling us to go inside from here? Seems that way. Alright, I'm gonna go. At least be a little cautious, it's obviously a trap. I agree, I detect the scent of danger, even my familiars are saying do not go inside. Try stabbing your sword through my very heart. Yeah, let's go. <clears throat> this is so damn annoying. Doesn't matter if it's a trap or not, one by one. Until I was the only one left, but when I was about to take a step forward, <laughs> we're the same. The same step ladders. Don't compare me to you. That's an insult to me. Was suddenly standing next to me with his eyes locked onto Monokuma Rock. Other than the small movements of his mouth, he was perfectly still. <sighs> you and I are just step ladders. Ruin all the title of Ultimate. I always believed that I didn't mind, unlike you, I knew my place. What are you saying? Uh. That's why I was prepared to become a sacrifice. At any time, and from that, true hope will be born. I always believed that the talent that survived would be true hope. But it wasn't. There is no hope amidst all this killing. Of course there isn't, what kind of hope comes from killing people? Really? Are you suggesting that sacrificing others for hope isn't real hope? But you're wrong. It's only natural and extremely obvious that strong hope devours weak hope. That's what it means to live, right? There is no way I'm going to accept that. It's not like that's what I wanted to say to you anyway. Then why the fuck do you even say it at all? There's this one novel I like. It's a peculiar mystery story. A novel? The story is told from the point of view of a high school girl involved in a serial killer mystery. When you get to the end, surprise, surprise, the girl was actually the killer. Of course, the story is written carefully so the reader doesn't learn the ending in the middle of the story. The protagonist is just the projection of the reader, and this projection turns out to be the killer, which means the killer you were looking for the whole time was inside you all along. How do you feel about novels like that? What the hell are you talking about? You're just jumping from one topic to another. And I can't comment on a book that I've never read before. Is he suggesting that I'm the killer? That's what it sounds like. Such a normal answer. I should have expected that from a talentless reserve course student like you. The only talent you have is your luck. Nagito, need I remind you? <laughs> I know that you don't matter at all, so why do I care about you? You admire hope. I love hope. Mm -hmm. In some ways, we're similar, but maybe that difference is what's making me so emotional. <sighs> Enough already! I don't have time to argue with you. Let's go, everyone is waiting. <sighs> everyone, huh? So you still believe you're just like everyone else. <laughs> Reserve course students are so full of themselves. So are you right now! Did one fucking useful thing. One useful thing. One! He probably didn't. And I know he probably did more than that, but whatever.
Reminds me how efficient that elevator in the funhouse was. It's probably true. The elevator continued to shake and descend deeper and deeper, and suddenly it stopped like it always does. And the door opened. I understand your desire to applaud this wonderfully excuse me, this wonderfully vulgar trial ground. But it's so exhausting to discuss useless things, so let's just get on with it already. So sad, my chest hurts. Forcing everyone to do this is so sad. Don't go talk to me without permission after I said my catchphrase. Otherwise, I'll roll on a, a dice of basal the result. I'll give you a sex change operation that many times? What an extreme punishment. Now then, let's get on with it once again. And so it begins. I hope this would never happen again, and now it's happening for the fourth time. The curtain of the fourth class trial was about to open. The ultimate team manager. He's more passionate, more daring, more honest than anyone I'd ever met. Truly, he was more man than any of us. He sacrificed his body to protect Akane, and his appearance changed drastically because of that. But he still tried to live earnestly. And just when I finally got used to his new form... Nekomori's killer... ...is one of us. <clears throat> Killing someone because it's the only way to survive is no excuse. I won't let this be excused. I won't forget this. The person who betrayed Negromaru, who betrayed their friends, I will never, ever forgive them. And so, this life-threatening trial building with hope and despair has begun. And it will continue in the next episode. So, if you like this video, or well, thank, you, thank you for watching, first of all. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, uh, and you want to see more content like this, feel free to subscribe. But you don't have to, though. I don't want to force you on anything. And I'll see you in the next video. So, yeah. See ya.